The new expansion coming out is the Vale of Alaris, and it'll be released in November of 2011. Um, uh, Alaris is a continent that has been hidden behind <clears throat> a veil, <laughs> and uh, that veil has been removed for reasons which will be explained in the expansion. But basically, in the last expansion with House of Thule, uh, the Kazakh Thule was destroyed. The players destroyed it. Now you find out who was behind that and why. The uh, Alarans have their own set of things that go on, um, and I don't know how much the team wants me to reveal, but uh, some of it is very, very different from the rest of the world, and uh, you'll explore that and find out about it, and in addition, there's a bunch of uh, cool features that are going there, but with a whole new continent to explore and all those zones and quests and monsters and treasure loot and everything, people will be busy for a long time. We uh, raised the level cap from 90 to 95. It's an amazing amount of work to raise the level cap on these games. Um, it doesn't seem like it should be that big a deal. You know, switch a widget and all of a sudden now you can go to 95, and that's true. But um, to fill it up with all the quest content so that you have another five levels of content to explore and all the items and uh, the mo you want to face some new monster encounters and challenges and stuff like that, it's, a fin it's essentially building a baby game every time you go from one level cap to another level cap. The players that play EverQuest Many of them have been playing it for the whole 12 years. I mean, it's astounding. Some people go away and come back. We get that a lot. Um, uh, the new toy comes out that they all want to go look at, some new MMO or a new, a new game or whatever it is. They all flock off for a while and go check it out and play it for a while and then realize it doesn't have the same depth. It doesn't have the same feature set. It doesn't have as much content. You can't even imagine how many quests are in that game. It's like many, many, many tens of thousands of quests, and you just can't build that from scratch. So when they go play these new MMOs that are not really deviating from the mold, they're not really finding anything special, so they keep coming home. And that's EverQuest and EverQuest 2. Players are infinitely creative. Um, and as we put more and more elements into the game so that they can create for themselves, like um, uh, with EverQuest, they recently did uh, in House of Thule, they did the new neighborhood stuff so that people could create neighborhoods of houses and hang out with people that they know and, and be able to decorate all those areas. And of course, they're pushing those boundaries. And we're adding more and more stuff with, uh, well, the, the catchphrase is UGC, user generated content. Uh, we're adding more and more UGC elements into the games so that players can make them their own. We have always said that, you know, this is your world. Now we want you to actually put a stamp on it.